Okay. We need to establish what we know about gravity. Perhaps I can be of some assistance. Gravity is a manifestation of a distortion in space-time. Whoa. Hold on there. Albert. This is a simple high school lesson. These folks ain't ready for your kind of magic bus physics. Let's try again with a more classical approach. Okay. We need to establish what we know about gravity. Perhaps I can be of some assistance. Gravity is a manifestation of a distortion in space-time. Oh no! It's a glitch in the matrix. What am I saying? That is not what gravity is. Okay Isaac. Talk to me. I discovered that gravity is a universal attraction between all the masses everywhere. Now we are getting somewhere. Please elaborate. It all started when I was supposedly sitting in an apple orchard. I noticed an apple fall near me. It got me thinking about why things fall to the earth. Let's try to imagine the scene. Why did that apple fall towards earth? Why do the leaves fall? Why does everything fall? And why does the moon not fall to the earth? I studied hard and formulated a theory. I called it Philosophy Naturalis Principia Mathematica. I wrote it down in Latin. Just to show off, I chucked in the laws of motion and the derivation of Kepler's laws of planetary motion. I also invented calculus while I was doing it. Boom! Mic drops. Word. Listen up. There is a universal force of attraction between any pair of masses. Its strength is proportional to the product of the masses. And inversely proportional to the square of their separation. Objects with large mass will show stronger effects. The Earth has a very big mass, so it attracts other masses strongly. The Moon has much less mass, and so has a lower gravitational pull on objects. Getting further away from a planet will also reduce the strength of gravity. I published my Principia more than 300 years ago. It includes the rules of how gravity works. Nowadays they just call these rules Newton's law of universal gravitation. <laughs>